Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we will solve exercise 6a from Mathematics 1. Our first question says multiply 372 by 25. This is very simple problem. We can solve it very quickly. 372 multiplied by 25. At first we have to multiply this 372 by 5. So we know that 5 to the 10. So we have 1. 5, 7, 35 plus 1, that is 36. We have 3 right now. 5, 3, 15 plus 3, that is 18. Now, we have to put a 0 here. 2, 2, 4, 2, 7, 14. So, 1 will be on our hand. So, 3, 2, 6 plus 1, that is 7. Now, we have to add these two numbers. 0 plus 0, that is 0. 6 plus 4, that is 10. So, we have to carry 1 to 8, that is 8 plus 1, 9. 9 plus 4, that is 13. Carry 1 to 1, that is 2 plus 7, that will be 9. So answer will be 9, 3, 0, 0. This is the solution of first question. Now, number 2. Number 2 says multiply 481 by 1 to 5. 481 multiplied by 1 to 5. So we can solve it very quickly. You know, we have to multiply 481 by 5. So 5 on your 5. 5, 8, 40, so carry 4, so we have 4 on our hand, 5, 40, 20 plus 4, that is 24. Now, as we have to give a 0 at unit digit, so 202, 2, 8, 16, 1 will be there, 2, 4, 8 plus 1, 9. Now, we have to write 2, 0, then we have to multiply 4, 8, 1 by 1, then we get simply 1, 8, 4, very simple. Now, we have to add. So if we add, then we get our solution. 5 plus 0 plus 0, that will be 5. 2 plus 0 plus 0, that will be 2. 6 plus 4, 10 plus 1, 11. We have to carry 1 to 2. 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus 9, that is 12. 12 plus 8, that is 20. We have to carry 2 to 4. 2 plus 4, that will be 6. So answer will be 6, 0, 1, 2, 5. Very simple. So number 3 says, is 3, 6, 5, 7, 8 a perfect square? If I say 1 squared, that is 1. What about 2 squared? That will be 4. What will be 3 squared? That will be 9. What will be 4 squared? That will be 16. What will be 5 squared? That will be 25. 6 squared, 36. 7 squared, 49. 8 squared, 64. 9 squared, 81. And 10 squared, that will be 100. If you look at the units, digit, you will see that uh, Unit is maybe 1, 4, 9, 6, 5, and 0. After completing square, we know that the unit is it only 0, 1, 4, 9, 6, 5. Without these six numbers, we can't find any digit. So, this will be belongs to the perfect square. In perfect square, you will get this digit. Okay, so unit digit should be this one. In every perfect square, you will get this type of unit digit. You will get the remaining number are 2, 3, 7, 8. And none of these numbers ends in 2, 3, 7, 8. So we can say in a perfect square, this type of number will not be there. That means we can say the square of a number, however many digits it has, cannot end in 2, 3, 7, 8. Okay? For example, if we say 5, 9, 2, this is not a perfect square. Or 6, 3, 3, not a perfect square. 7, 3, 8, not a perfect square. 5, 7, 7, not a perfect square. So these numbers ends with 2, 3, 7, 8. That's why they are not belong to the perfect square. So in a perfect square, the unity should be between these numbers. Okay? Now, look at this one. 3, 6, 5, 7, 8. The unit digit is 8. The unit digit is 8. So, 8 will belong to this, this part. That means you can say 3, 6, 5, 7, 8, not a perfect square. So, answer is a big no. So, 3, 6, 5, 7, 8 is not a perfect square. Okay? Which of the following numbers has 3 as a factor? That means the question asks you that this number is divisible by 3 or not. So try to find out. 
this number is divisible by three or not. So try to find out this number is divisible by three or not. Look, seven, four, six is divisible by three or not. How can we find out? We know that three is a factor of a number if it is a factor of the sum of its digit. That means, if you add all the digits of this number and the sum of the digits is divisible by 3, then this number is divisible by 3. Let me check. Is 7 plus 4 plus 6. 6 plus 4, 10. 10 plus 7, 17. Again, you can add 1 and 7. 1 plus 7, that is 8. So, 8 cannot be divisible by 3. So, 7, 4, 6 is not divisible by 3. Very simple. So, 7, 4, 6 is not divisible by 3. So, 3 is not a factor of 7, 4, 6. Now, let me check for 8, 3, 1. If we add all the digits of 8, 3, 1, 8 plus 3 plus 1, what will we get? 3 plus 1, 4, 4 plus 8, 12. Again, we can add uh, 1 and 2, that is 1 plus 2, that is 3. Yes, 3 can be divisible by 3. So, 8, 3, 1 is also divisible by 3. So, we can say 3 is a factor of 8, 3, 1. Excellent. So, this one, we can give a tick sign. Now, at last one, 9 to 8, just add 9 plus 2 plus 8, 8 plus 2, 10, 10 plus 9, 19. So, now add 1 and 9, we will get 10. No, 10 cannot be divisible by 3. So, we can say 9 to 8 is not divisible by 3. So, at last, our final answer is 3 is not a factor of 9 to 8. That's a very easy question. Now, all number 5, number 5 says, which of the following numbers has 8 as a factor of 3, 5, 4, 6, 7, 5, 6, 1, and 9, 2, 0, 0, 0. So how can you solve this one? Well, if we know the rules of test of divisibility of 8. So 8 is a factor of a number if the number formed by the last three digit, last three digit, last three digit has a factor of 8. That means if we want to find out that this number is divisible by 8 or not, we have to check only last three digits. If last three digit is divisible by 8, then it is divisible by 8. If last three digit is not divisible by 8, then the answer will be not. So how can you solve at first 5, 4, 6? Try to divide 5, 4, 6 by 8. 8, 6, 48. What will be the remainder? 6, 66. So, now, 8, 7, 56, 8, 8, just 64, 8, 8, just 64. That is a remainder here. So, that will not be divisible by 8. So, 3, 5, 4, 6 is not divisible by 8. So, 8 is not a factor of 3, 5, 4, 6. Now, look at 7, 5, 6, 1. Look, this is an odd number. You don't need to think about last three digits. This is an odd number only. This is odd number. Odd number cannot be divisible by an even number. Odd number cannot be divisible by an even number. So, this is a big no. Now, now last one, 9, 2, 3, 4, 0. If you see last three digit is 0, then obviously this one will be divisible by 8. This is very simple. If last two digit is 0, then it can be divisible by 4. If last three digit contains 0, that means all of these three digits are 0, then that will be divisible by 8. So, 9, 2, 3, 0, obviously divisible by 8. Let me check. 9, 2, 3, 0, divided by 8. At first, you know, 8, 1, 8, remainder is 1, 12, 8, 1, 8 again, then it will be 4, 40, then 8, 5, 40, then we have to bring down these 2, 0, then we have to put it, these 2, 0. So, obviously, 9, 2, 3, 0 is divisible by 8. So, 8 is a factor of 92,000. Now, Number six. Number six says, which of the following numbers has nine as a factor? This is very simple. Nine is a factor of a number. If it is a factor of the sum of its digit. If the sum of the digits of a number is divisible by nine, then we can say this number is divisible by nine. Then nine is a factor of this one. So let me check. At first, we have to add the digit. Three plus six plus nine plus nine. 6 plus 3, 9, 9 plus 9, 18, 18 plus 9, 27. If you add again 2 plus 7, you will get 9. Yes, 9 is divisible by 9. So, 3, 6, 9, 9 is divisible by 9. Or we can say 9 is a factor of 3, 6, 9, 9. Excellent. Now, what about 7, 1, 2, 8? Add 7 plus 1 plus 2 plus 8. 8 plus 2, 10. 
10 plus 1 element, element plus 7, that is 18. If you add the digit of 18 again, 1 plus 8, that will be 9. 9 is also divisible by 9. So 7 on 2, 8 is also divisible by 9. So we can say 9 is a factor of 7 on 2. Excellent. Now our last problem, 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. So if we add, what will we get? 3 is 18. So it will be 18. 18 is divisible by 9. So this one is also divisible by 9. Now we can go to our number 7. Number 7 says, which of the following numbers has 6 as a factor? So this is very important. So a number is divisible by 6. If that number is divisible by 2 and 3, we can say 6 will be factor of this number if this number has two factor, 2 and 3. That means if that number is divisible by 2 and 3, then this number is also divisible by 6. So if we look at first one, this one is odd number. Odd number cannot be divisible by an even number. So this one is not a correct answer. So odd number is not divisible by an even number. Odd number, you have to understand this one. Odd number cannot be divisible, divisible by an even number. You have to understand this one properly. Now 7662. So at first try to find out that this number is divisible by 2 or not. Yes. This is the even number. So obviously this number is divisible by 2. So this number 762 is divisible by 2. But we have to check for 3. To check for 3 we have to add them this. 7 plus 6 plus 6 plus 2. You know 6 plus 2 8. 8 plus 7 15. 15 plus 6 that is 21. Again we can add 2 and 1. Then 2 plus 1 that will be 3. Yes 3 is also divisible by 3. So this one that means 7662 is divisible by 2 and 3. So obviously 7662 is divisible by 6. And if you divide 7662 by 6, you will get 1, 2, 7, 7. Okay, this is the first correct answer. Now look at 8464. Yes, this one is divisible by 2. Why? Because this is an even number. Last digit is even. Unis digit is even. So this is an even number. Now, let me check for this one is divisible by 3 or not. Look, we have to add 8 plus 4 plus 6 plus 4. 6 plus 4, 10. 10 plus 4, 14. 14 plus 8. That is 22. 22. So, if we add 2 plus 2 again, that will be 4. No, 4 cannot be divisible by 3. So, 8, 4, 6, 4 will not be divisible by 6. Now, number 8. Number 8 says, which of the following numbers has 11 as a factor? So, how can we understand? We know that 11 is a factor of a number if the sum of the digits in the odd position is equal to the sum of the digits in the even position. That means, at first, we have to find out the numbers in the odd position. So, if we find out 4 and 3, belongs to the odd position and 2 and 5 belongs to the even position. So 4 plus 3 that is 7 and 2 plus 5 that is 7 and you will get both numbers are same. That means 4, 2, 3, 5 is divisible by 11 or we can say 11 is a factor of 4, 2, 3, 5 and we can check this answer in another way. That is we know that if the difference between them has 11 as a factor, then this number is also divisible by 11. So if we subtract 7 minus 7, that will be 0. 0 can be divisible by 11. Now, 1, 6, 1, 6, 1. At first, we have to add digits in the odd position. Digits in the odd position, that is 1 plus 1 plus 1, that is 3. And digits in the even position, that is 6 plus 6 equal to 12. So when you separate this 12 minus 3, then you will get 9. This 12 and 3 both are different. And the difference of these two is 9, which is not a factor of element. So this one is not divisible by n. Now 7 to 8 2. If we add 7 plus 8 because it belongs to the odd position and 2 plus 2 that belongs to the even position, then you know 7 plus 8 that is 15, 2 plus 2 that is 4. So 15 and 4 both are different. So we have to think about another formula that is subtraction. If we find out the difference between 15 and 4, we'll get 11. Yes, 11 is a factor of 11. 
So we can also say L is a factor of seven to eight. Two. In this way, we can solve this chapter very easily. So thank you very much for attending today's class. See you soon on next class. Until then, Allah Hafiz. Yeah.